So I wrote a poem for this uh, for this evening, and it kind of turned into more for me than I had uh, originally expected. But uh, I consider my life's work, my uh, my masterpiece, to be knowing just where to put a mic stand. I consider my my masterpiece, my life's work, to be. Our love, it's, uh, it's uh -huh. to me, what we've built together is just amazing. So 7,258 days ago was a really, really, really great day. It was a day that changed the entire way that I see the world and everything that I do and say. It was about 174,192 hours ago, give or take a few, that Zara looked into my eyes and said, I do. In front of one witness with one county clerk, this goddess and one lucky jerk, she made me the luckiest man in the world the day that she agreed to be my girl. Happy and in love in our first apartment in the hood where we lived with a punk rocker and a great Dane and it was all good. In Palm Shadows Apartments where we partied day and night, where we lived on potato salad sandwiches, pepperoncinis, and natural light. And then the Sand Pebble Apartments where we did psychedelics and I learned to juggle. And we played bass guitar and bongos and listened to the kid upstairs get in trouble. And Zara brought home a dog and we had no room for a stray. There was positively no freaking way. I put my foot down and had to say, that dog can absolutely not stay. We named him Killy, and we had him for six and a half years, by the way. <laughs> then we moved to my grandfather's apartment in Moreno Valley, where we partied really hard. We had notorious nitrous parties and a trampoline in the front yard. And then we moved back to Riverside, where we rented a home, right next door to the house where Zara had grown. And we decided that it was finally time to make a family of our own. So 1,008 days after becoming my wife, she brought into our world a brand new life. On January 25th, 1998, Danny Bryan Davis Jr., our perfect little man, with his perfect little feet and his perfect little hands, and it was a perfect kind of love that I could never understand until I held my firstborn child in the palm of my hand. So mom stayed home to raise the kid and I went to work to keep us fed, to keep clothes on our back and keep a roof over our head and keep paying all the bills, which I began to dread. And somewhere around the turn of the century, I got twisted and tangled like I never meant to be. And I broke the heart that was most important to me and she will never understand what that forgiveness meant to me. But out of that darkness came a light and a renewed love and a new life. And after nine months of healing and growing and feeling and knowing and seeing her glowing, 2067 days after becoming my wife, December 19th, the year 2000, Brady William Davis comes into our life. After our hardest year of struggles and strife, and our little boy's body was yellow and so were his eyes, and he was rushed to the ICU to fight for his life, and I found the strength to survive in the arms of my incredible, unshakable wife. We traded Billy Rubin lights that year for Christmas lights, and instead of champagne on New Year's, we had hospital food and a few tears. We held hands and we hugged and we loved one another and we remembered what it was that we found in each other. She gives me the strength to be a father and to be a man. And she's so goddamn beautiful. Sometimes I can hardly stand to look at her without dropping to my hands and knees and just thanking her for being with me and making me who I am. So Brady got better and as the years went by in what seemed like the wink of an eye, we get approved for a loan for our first home that we buy. Then 3,127 days into this dizzying world, she brings another new life into our world. On November 14, 2003, Madison Elizabeth Davis, my baby girl, my daughter, my amazing daughter, and now we're five. This little family of five, just happy as can be to be alive, and times are good and the economy thrives, and what better way to improve our lives than to chase the American dream, baby, we refied. <laughs> Took out some cash, put in new floors, put a jacuzzi outside our back door, paid off our cars and went to the store, bought what we needed and a whole lot more until all the money was used right up and that two-year fixed interest rate fluctuated right up and then 2008 came and it just fucked me up. <laughs> You see, just two years before, my house had appraised for $200,000 more than I had originally paid for it five years before. 
But when the crash hit, the guy next door couldn't get shit for his house, not a quarter of what it was appraised for. I guess all that equity they said I had before, it just went poof, and I didn't have it anymore. But my mortgage payment sure went a whole lot more than I could possibly afford, and the 10% of every paycheck that I had poured into my 401k since I was 18 years old, well, that just disappeared from where it was stored, and all of a sudden, we were just poor. I lost our house. I had one job to keep a roof over my family's head and I messed it up and I crumbled. And who was there to lift me up? With her incredible way to make me see the best in every situation, who was there to pick me back up? Zara looked into my eyes and told me we would be okay and I believed her and we were. And I could stand back up. In the years to come, we had so much fun. We've made so many amazing friends and I love everyone through Years of us moving from one house to another, but always together and always loving one another and watching her be this unbelievable mother and this generous, sexy, wonderful lover. <laughs> Through so many years of me playing my songs and only sounding good when she's singing along. And there were times that got rough where Zara and me had to fight our way back to where we needed to be, but we figured it out. And now we're as happy and in love as two people can possibly be. So that brings us to here tonight, where everything's perfect. Everything's just right. One day, maybe just three hours from Zara's 41st birthday, 48 days from our 20 year anniversary. 20 years, stand up. 20 years with this incredible, unbelievable, sexy, amazing woman. Thank you, thank you for the most amazing last 227,125,201,2,3 unbelievable second since, since this began. Zara Davis. Aww. Aww. Can you please marry me again?